In this video, we use This Is Really Giga Chad to get us into my new favourite cast plane in War Thunder. Hope you guys enjoy this classic Oddballs intro where I annihilate an entire enemy team. Where do you think you're going? Ow! It's an IKB! Why won't he die, Hagom? <laughs> that has a lot of bad guys down here. Bombs away. <laughs> right. One for you. I missed him. <laughs> oh my god. I just seen a flag bus. He's gone. Come here, Panzer IV. Right wing rocket. Go. <gasps> Unlucky. Urgh, go away, Sweden. Okay. Stuka incoming. He's gonna blow himself up. Careful, teammates. He's okay ish. He's dead. Okay, someone's definitely angry with me now. Who's chasing me? Oh. <laughs> We're good. And I L2. It's a good job we got a second one. <laughs> Is that a Lubrov? That was a Lubrov. I missed the bombs. Oh, hey. It's the little rascal tank. No. Don't do that. I warned you. Come to Buzz. Actually, wait a second. It's a duck. We'll let him live. Oh, just kidding. God. Get him, dude. And yeet. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed that intro. That is probably the least effective I played this thing today. This is the Israeli Spitfire Mark 9C. Now if you enjoyed that intro, please hit the like button. I really want to bring them back pretty much every day when we do something. I really miss doing them and I loved every second of making that one. It's every day in May this month, so I'm putting a video out every single day in May. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Now what makes this thing so special that I played one game and it's my favourite aircraft in the game? so far it's because of these rockets on the wings here these are the israeli eight centimeter rockets that come on the 6.7 spitfire but these have 300 millimeters of penetration they're a heat warhead type and have 1.6 grams of tnt equivalent that means you can over pressure pretty much every tank that you hit especially open tops and they're especially destructive because they're so accurate compared to any other nations in the game's dumbfire rockets but this thing sits at 4.3 also let's not forget this thing is is a Spitfire so it has a great airframe, it's fast, it turns extremely well, it holds its energy okay so for a cast plane, this thing is insane. It also has 20mm cannons, which are good for aircraft, and also good for open tops, and even closed tops too. The only problem, however, with this aircraft is the vehicle you need to use to let it play at 4.3. This is the TCM-20, it's an SPAA, it's the lowest tier vehicle available for the Israeli Tech Tree down here. The only other way you can take the Spitfire out is if you take the M51, but we're going to try and do a little challenge today get ourselves into the aircraft using only the SPAA. Now before I played that game for the intro, here is my stat card after the first three games that I played. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Now if you love Cass, or even if you hear it, you're gonna wanna watch this video. This thing is absolutely insane. Let's get into battle. Right, did we got abandoned factory. Check this chat out in the back. Our first game, I bought parts and FPE because, you know, this is a vehicle that really needs parts and FPE. Uh, Germany, Britain, Japan, China, and Sweden. So we either got a cap or we got to murder somebody because we're quite far off 516 with a full rocket loadout on this Spitfire. It'll be cheaper, uh, sorry, with a bomb loadout and rockets. It'll be cheaper if I just take the rockets. Someone's pushing me on this side. If we get this cap, we're already in. 
This is a tiger coming. Yep. It's, it's all over for us, dude. <laughs> it's all over for us. I think our horizontal is out as well. Oh, our teammate's shooting from behind. Okay, we're good. This guy was so focused on killing me, he just like completely, utterly blind to everything else going on around about him. That was a fully down tiered tiger. Right, you five feet. Oh, there's a. I think I can kill here, but hopefully my uh, Chaffee will notice. He didn't. Okay, he set the man on fire. He's already tracked. Oh, easy kill, look. Maybe even two here. Yes, yeah, sir. Ah! Reloading. So, we haven't done too badly in this thing. He might shit the ground with HE. My, my commander is just up top. Literally dead. Well, unconscious, as they say in War Thunder, right? Ashino 2 is coming. Oh, hey. Keep driving forwards. That's a bit too much angle, boss. <laughs> this Shino is still there, look. Here comes a Sherman. I think if I just get out there, quickly track him and drive back in again, we'll be alright, but it's very likely he's just gonna kill us. I tracked him. No! Reload! He missed me! You fool! Okay. We're alive. How's the how's the firefly getting on? Oh he saw me too. Okay, the next track. Oh, okay, he ammo racked us with his 50 kill. <laughs> actually this thing wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad, dude. Right, Spitfire, let's go. This is it's you. You're in the limelight. Right, we get the anti-air first, because you know, don't want to be killed by that later on. Is it a wobble wind? It kinda looks like one. I think it's left rocket first. And I have to kinda remember how to aim these. Okay, I forgot how to aim them, apparently. And here comes a big plane. He's going for a head on IL-4. Yeah, he is. Oh, it's an, a it's an A-21. Right, the crit is good, but it's not good enough. That's not another enemy plane for me, is it? I don't think it is. The Wibblewind is not looking at me, I don't think. Right, just remember to aim, Boz. Okay, I killed him. That guy's dead. And now we are right hand side rocket. That guy's also dead. There's a guy, two guys on B. Okay, so right hand side rocket. There's a little puma trying to run away. There's a guy under this canopy over here as well, look. Okay, that guy's dead. Hold on, I'm gonna get a test rocket in there to make sure he's in there. No, he's not. No, he is. I just didn't splash damage him. We're coming back around. Is he not on the cap in there? No, he's like just out of it. What is it, a Shinu? Bombs away. Okay, we. It's a Cheeto. The ZSU is shooting. Oh my god, dude, this enemy team is getting absolutely destroyed. Right, Panzer 4, 70 down here. We got a good angle on him. That's not an anti here, so we're going in for the kill. And. Rocket. Okay, I hit him very well, but he's still alive. Whoa! The. The. Sudden spawn of a. Chinese BTR thing. BTD. It's the same guns, I think. Oh, our teammate is needing help on the C cap, I think, maybe. Okay, my Yag 1 just strafed this guy. I want to see if I can long ball this dude. I think I can hit him. If he stops wiggling about, that is. Here comes a plane as well. Ah, I almost got him. Okay, negative G. I'm going to roll out the way this lad and back up this way. I'm not wanting to go anywhere near that. Okay, okay he's dead. It's a ZSD, that's what it's called. 
This fucking wolf does not stand a chance against a Spitfire, so... Or a Yag one, for that matter. Kind of burning our engine up a bit. Come off the wet a teeny bit. Okay, I just got shot by an anti-air or a 50 cal. It is a... It's a Sherman, right? I think that might have been a 30 mil that hit me. 30 mil, oh my god. A 30 cal. There's a big difference between caliber and millimeter. He died because he was too busy looking at me. Right, where did the... The guy on C's now down there? Wait, are we getting shot at by an Oswind? I'm sure I heard the Oswin sound. Here comes a guy coming from C cap. They're capturing B2. Oh, it's a Stug. I don't even know if he's worth a rocket, but... I he did track them. That's another big bomb on B. <laughs> the P8 bomb just did a splash. The Ag one's now on our... Victim. That's mine. Leave him alone. Oh, these rockets are so good, dude. They are absolutely ridiculous. Oh, a Tassi. And another Sherman. He's about to get strafed, I think, is he? Oh, he's going for me. Holy crap, that was close. I hit the Firefly instead of the anti -air. How did I even manage that? Wait, I'm going to have to look back in the x-ray. Because that was a bit weird. Right, that guy's probably missing his gunner now. Oh, a wobble. All good news. Just means there's more things for us to burst with rockets. Oh, crap. That's the British SPA I was telling you I was worried about earlier. Oh, that's a right-hand side rocket. I'm stupid. Ow, 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 ow. I got to keep looking at my rocket screen. So if it's an even number, it comes from the left. If it's an odd number, it comes from the right. Now our verbal wind's gonna pick us off easily. Oh my god, my plane is not flying very well anymore. It's not doing too good at all. The EEC's back there too, right? Where the hell is this Wurble gone? Between the buildings? Yeah, he's kinda behind them. Right. Left hand side rocket. He's already get smashed by my teammate though. Oh my god. <laughs> Basically... We got into melee range. The EAC is trying to shoot my T-3457 from the side. I mean, he's not trying, he is. Right, so, right-hand side rocket now. Bruh. Yeah, we're not flying very good. Oh my... Dude, I'm so bad when I get that close. Okay, he's getting shot at by an R3 now. I got two rockets left. Okay, he's dead. It's Chaffee's time. <laughs> Come here, little fella. We actually got quite a few good kills with this thing. Holy moly. And... Racket. Ah, oh, I just got his engine. The closer I am, the worse I am off, but uh, my plane's flying so terribly. <laughs> it's all I've got. Is there another anti here? Oh, that was a murder. Oh, what a shame. Right, Mr. Chaffee, surely you're 50 cows up staring at me at this point. You would think so. Okay, another melee fight here. Yes! <laughs> Dude, I absolutely love these rockets. They're, they're better than RP3s. They're, they're pretty much better than anything that's not a top tier, really. <laughs> oh my goodness, so satisfying. Well, we got quite a few kills on this. Quite a few. GG. Right, old chaps, we got Stalingrad, which is not great for this thing, I guess. The thing is with rockets, right? And uh, just like APHE and, and stuff. APHE has a fuel tank. It's like a 50-50 chance that it's going to actually like kill the tank, you know, with a fuel tank explosion. That really annoying mechanic no one understands. But with one of those rockets, this is a guaranteed kill. I don't know why. One of my theories is, you guys probably don't know, but most of you will, that there's actually health bars and worth under, they're just invisible. So... Rounds actually have hit points of damage and modules on your vehicle have hit points as well That's why you see your track go yellow orange red then broken So I think the rockets have like an insane amount of HP damage modifier 
So when you do hit a fuel tank, it just basically, for lack of a better description, kills the fuel tank and then causes the actual vehicle just to die immediately. I don't think we're going to get anything. Is that a black bus? It is. I didn't do very much to him. Oh, his engine. He's got a quick reload though, doesn't he? But he also has a laser rangefinder. Ow, that's my gunner. I needed him. We're repairing because my vertical horizontal is out. Oh, this guy's repairing the flag truck. Okay, I got his loader. Yeah, we got him, dude. Wait. Oh, we can't pin him from the front. My teammate got the B cap. So we're not getting that, I guess. I might be able to sneak up on Mr. Panzer 4 now that the fences and walls are a little bit more in the way. So this guy we can kill. If I don't get artillery, that is. Is he in his scope view looking the other way? I think he might be. Okay, I got his engine. Can I get the rest of his crew from here? Nah, I'm going to have to wait till his gunner's back and then finish him off. He's a friend coming though. And here comes an aeroplane. I failed my one job. Hey, we got someone. Right, where is the plane at? Let's get out this way a little bit more so I'm actually behind something. Oh, G22 is on the airplane. Oh, hey, is this guy diving on me? Oh, my goodness. This thing is not bad, by the way. Like, I've definitely played the worst SPAs. My god, I'm so bad. Right, what we do need is the upgrade that makes our turret turn faster. <laughs> that definitely would help. Okay, we kill each other. <laughs> right, it's our turn. It's our turn to cast it. The enemy team's, like, got dunked in the last few seconds. It's looking quite even though we just had the caps for longer is all. There's a huge cluster in our spawn. That's a, a bomber's wet dream by the way, seeing the kill feed like all go positive for the team and then all those guys respawning in a really close proximity to each other. Unfortunately, we are just rockets, so oh my goodness, the B cap is saturated with T-34s. So I can tell you exactly where we're going right now. That's a uh, KV. Let's go with bombs first. I think he's like crew replanning or something. Those are bad bombs, dude. I'm sorry. Oh, we got him. We got him. Actually, better than I thought. There's a wobble down here or something. I should probably take care of that first, right? But I want some signs of life out of him. Let's see if we can get him from way back here. He just reversed away from the bombs that dropped on him a second ago. Don't move. That's looking good. A little bit off. That's perfect. Almost hit my teammate. And here comes two planes. Yaks are going to be the most annoying aircraft to us. Right, we've got even rockets, so left side. I'm going to go for this KB. It's an experiment. Dude, yeah, see the fuel ex I told you the fuel explosion, right? It's so bizarre. What a weird game mechanic. I'm going to end up having to fight both these enemy planes, I think, on my myself because my teammates are getting picked off by SPA. This one wants me specifically, so... I'm happy with that. Oh, my camera. It's not, is that a 225? I think it is. I didn't hit him hard enough to actually bring him down. And there's a 109F, which I'm actually pretty scared of. The 109's flying away, that's good. And this guy's bringing me into where the 109 is going. So I'm gonna avoid this for a sec. We'll come back in a minute. Oh. What's behind me? Oh, it's the 109. He's got a bomb attached. He's got a bomb attached. Okay, he's hit me enough now, he can actually keep up with me in a turn, and here comes the other guy. 
I have to go underneath them. And the one on I install on my 6, right? Uh, we're okay, we're okay. As long as there's not an anti air, we're fine. There's a third plane. Right, we're going back towards this guy. Oh my god, my plane is not doing very well, by the way. I think we might be dead here. The other plane ignored me. Oh, he's hitting me. Oh, no. Well, we got three. It's, it's all we can really ask for. <laughs> my teammates are too determined shooting the... Oh, actually, I've got another plane. Let's go. The rockets do make us heavy. I only got three kills. I can spawn another one. It's probably because we shot down two aircraft, right? We still got spawn points left. I should You know what I should have done? I should have spawned another SPA. No pro gamer. What you should have done there was go for the planes before you bombed the guy. That might have been a good idea. Now there's three enemy planes I need to deal with. One. That's two. And the 109 is outbound. Right, I see a Panzer IV down there. I think we deal with the guy on C cap first. Oh, yeah, I see him. It's another KV. Oh, and a friend. Okay, my teammate just shot one of them. Let's go with a rocket to see if we can disable him first. That's perfect. Decent bombs, but they were bad, actually. <laughs> God, any time I think I've done bad with the bombs, we actually did good. And every time I think I did good with the bombs, we did bad. So maybe I should try not to actually hit them with the bombs. Right, right-hand side rocket. The KV-1's kind of out of action, but this M10 is getting pushed by this lad. That was so bad. Do you know something? I knew that was going to miss, too. And I let it happen. The chaffee needs help. Right, that guy can't move now. <gasps> Is he gonna kill the Chaffee though? I I'm actually not sure. I don't know what's happening down here. Oh, my teammate died to this guy. Yes, Chaffee! <laughs> nice one. Right, T-34. Oh no, it's a SU or something. Right, his engine is out now too. So if someone goes up his side, he's easy pickings. I'm gonna have to come round and attack him from the other way. I'm really glad we helped that Chaffee though. Oh, you've got those two guys here. Right, a left hand and then a, a right hand. Hit one, kill the other. Right, guys, now double immobilized. Dude, these rockets are insane. They are so, so good. My M4 is on fire. Yes, dude. Oh my lord. They are, they are so, so good. Let's try and get this KV on the other side. He's going to kill this M4, I believe. Is M4 still burning? Yeah, he's... He doesn't have parts in FPE. What a shame. Okay, right-hand side rocket. And i got to be aware the guy is coming back in the 109. Who killed me before, remember him? I do. Okay, I got him on fire. Oh, it hit his fuel tank, but it gone through the turret ring and a crew member. So maybe that took away some of the sting. Okay, Panzer and a friend. I'm gonna use cannons for this. Okay, I, I think I blocked both of them in the doorway. Yeah, they aren't working right. <laughs> right, the Chaffee's got his 50 cal involved now too. He's he's trying to get the Panzer to move, but he doesn't know the Panzer's damaged really badly. Right, okay, now now he can't move. He's trying to get in the doorway. Oh, he got in, he got in. Okay, we're coming back around. I think... Ah, he's on it. Okay, let's try and get some of these guys out of this direction then. The KV died, good. What's this T-34 doing over here? Uh, Right-hand side rocket. And I think I hear the 109 coming back. Awesome. 
that didn't get his fuel tank that time. So maybe it's just maybe it is still RNG, and I just got lucky the first few times, you know. That could a hundred percent be a thing. Okay, this guy can stall me out easy peasy. I'm going slow. Okay. Revenge has been sick after that guy. Right, where did Mr. T34 go? He's no doubt heading somewhere. I might get buzzed by a whirlwind in a sec, so I'm gonna try and avoid that happening and just go over this direction. We're getting sea back. This is dude, this plane is amazing. Like, not only is it a Spitfire, it's got amazing rockets on it too. Yeah, that guy did spawn a whirlwind. Oh, the anti just took care of that too. Right, avoid the sticker. And we're going for a, a long range on the Wirbly boy. Oh, that guy's still burning the one I hit earlier in the fuel tank. That's looking good. That's what you want, dude. I've got to get away for 50 cal, man. This is a bad experience. I thought I'd lost touch with the rockets, you know. Oh, there's a biplane out here. The T-34 just burned to death as well. Right hand side rocket. Okay, I did hit him, but I didn't do any damage. Okay, that's friendly. Oh, that guy just got hvard. What a chad. Hvard's not the easiest to use anymore. <laughs> I got that guy in fire as well. Tell me you've got FPE though. Tell me you've got FPE then. Right hand side rocket again. He does have FPE. Or he just didn't get set in fire. Here on our plane. Okay, he is disabled. And that's gonna be game. That's gonna be game, dude. GG. Wow, dude, this plane is amazing. Amazing. I rarely play a vehicle that makes me want to continue playing War Thunder outside of recording. This thing just makes me want to do that. The 16 rockets, the two bombs, the cannons, the fact that it's a Spitfire and it's in an oddball nation with a really oddball vehicle to get into it. The reward of dopamine is just so good. It's been a while since I've done a cast video and a lot of it is response to the comments about, you know, planes not being enjoyable to fight against and tanks and stuff like that. But for me, it's one of the most enjoyable things in the game. It's difficult to do. A lot of the vehicles are out there to get you. And once you actually pull something off, you learn to line up the bombs, you learn to line up the rockets. It's a huge skill set that you can take into a battle. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button. And remember, it's every day in May, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss all that content that I'm going to be doing every single day of this month. Once again, a huge thank you to everyone who supports the channel over on Discord and Patreon. Remember to head over to our Discord if you are a supporter and make sure that you join the supporters lounge. There's access to sneak previews, some blooper reels in there as well, and even an AMA chat. For the Discord in itself, I always talk to everyone that's in the War Thunder general, so if you're not there, make sure that you are. There's other people to play with in there too. To all the Tier 3s over in Discord and Patreon to get a shout out, that's Miss Lita, Shadow Wolf, Toast McGee, D Back is Sexy, White Wolf, Audible Bow, Blahaj, Bofe, Destari, Fearless, Germ, Mushy Boy, Rusty, Stoyan, Train Toilet, and Zig. And to everyone over on Patreon, that's Sickness Win, Matthew S, Paul Wendricks, The Tackle Guy, FTN, Waterwell, and Shane McGuire, Ahenius, Ander Stormwind, Brandon, aka The Flying Pickle, Ethan Excavation Nation, Handsome Tortilla, King the Salt Lord, Love of a Weasel, Ralph, Rage, Tectonic, Tanks Gone Well, The Anomaly, Varian, Warpig, Shaft, Mortanen, Stoyan, David, Pyrophoric, and the one, the only, Rosalini. And to everyone else still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye